thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. If this is your first time stopping by, please click on subscribe so you can keep up with all the videos that we make here. Now, time to get our cylinder heads on our uh, 440 here so we can get it painted, so let's get started. I'll just go through the whole process that I usually go through. All the holes for the bolts, you want to make sure they're clean and there's nothing inside, so I just like to blow them out. And you have to have something over the hole so that if something does come out, it doesn't spray all over the engine. I'm using the Felpro sealed power gasket set for this engine, the whole engine set. The number is 260-1001. And here's the head gasket for it. And as with any head gasket you install, you want to look for any marks that say either this side up or an arrow pointing saying this side forward. And there's absolutely nothing on here that indicates direction. I checked it with the other gasket, it's symmetrical, so I can just sit it right on. Probably notice I've had the, uh, had the uh, engine stand turned so that the head deck is, is straight up. So when I go to put my cylinder head on, I don't have to strain myself to try and hold it on an angle. Set so the cylinder head just, just like that. Okay, a couple things. I'm using the ARP head bolts. The head bolt part number is uh, 145-3606 is the part number for these head bolts. And if you've ever used ARP bolts, when you take them out of the package, they have a coating on them. And that coating is like an oil. Since I'm going to be painting this engine, I want to make sure that the heads and the washers and the part that's going to be sticking out where I'm going to be painting, i going to make sure that's got to be clean and oil free. And it's easy to do that before you put the bolts in because if you don't, then you're trying to clean around the head bolts before you paint and it can be pretty messy. And all I do is take the bolts, put them in a, in a parts cleaner like this, in a thing with some parts cleaner. I'll let them soak, take them out and wash them off one by hand. It's really the only way to do it to make sure they're clean. Just to show you what I mean, if I take one of the head bolts out of the uh, cleaner, the parts cleaner, and I just wipe it off. Wipe off the head here, the washer, and the, get the shank of the bolt and the threads. You can see that gets pretty dirty. So the bolts do have a lot of stuff on them. I like to clean them off first, clean off the threads, make sure the threads are nice and clean, and then blow them off to make sure that they're perfectly clean. All right, you always hear me say follow manufacturer's recommendations, and I'm using the ARP bolts, and I'm also using the ARP Ultra Torque. A lubricant that comes with the fasteners and it says to lubricate the threads so I'm lubricate the threads and underneath the head of the bolt and I can put them all in and there's a one two three four five six seven eight nine what was it three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen seventeen seventeen head bolts so I gotta do all seventeen now when you have 17 bolts, it's, it's, uh, it's good to follow a sequence, the torque pattern, like I said, follow the manufacturer's recommendations, and the bolt pattern for this is easy, and I remember that the easy, the uh, outside bolts are always an even number, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so it goes just like that, and I'll do it in three equal steps, all the way up to 70 foot-pounds. Now I go from uh, 30 up to 50. Same pattern.
Now the last step up to 70 foot-pounds, I'm going up to my half-inch uh, torque wrench instead of the, the uh, 3 eighths, just to make sure I don't have any twist on any of these parts. All right, that's one done. All done. Okay, now that it's assembled, we can paint it that awesome Chrysler orange, and we're going to do it as separate components. The uh, block and heads we'll paint as one unit. The valley pan we paint while it's out because that's really easy to paint. We have the water pump housing, water pump, timing cover, and oil pan. We'll paint those all as separate components, and then we'll put them all together nice and neat. We're getting really close to firing this baby up. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.